Hello guys, welcome to American Truck Simulator, realistic economy style. Oh yeah, it's going to get rough and it's been a long time since I started from the beginning, but it's going to be a lot harder with realistic economy. I'm running most of the mods I normally do, just that we added realistic economy. I do have a Pro Mods Canada map on here. I do have the Coast to Coast map on here. And um, I do have Iridesce Volvo truck in here, but yeah, I have issues with that. Or I probably think everyone does an ATS because the truck works great, but there is no engine sound. But that's that's not a problem for us right now. The problem for us right now is, yeah, we're starting from scratch. Uh, I'm at skill level zero. I have basically absolutely nothing. And this is our first job. No, this is not my truck. I don't own any trucks whatsoever. I'm going to be working for other people for a while. Yeah, we're getting ready to go on our first job. So what is realistic economy, you may ask? Well, if you've been playing the base game, I never knew exactly how much we were getting paid for cargo and such like that for mileage. And I've seen this mod for a while, and I thought, you know, we need, I need to try it because the other profiles I have, well, I have one for multiplayer and one just for uh, single player, and the money is just, well, it's ridiculous. <laughs> and I'm like, you know what? I, I, I would, I've been wanting to start over and do realistic economy for a while i thought now is a good time the new year is here why not do it so what does it change um i want to put it on the screen here i'm not going to go over everything right here because it'll probably take me like a couple minutes to read it but basically uh freight truck revenue per mile has been lowered from 21 dollars 73 cents down to a dollar 88 yeah that's a big drop in what we're going to be earning per jobs right uh cargo truck revenue per mile has been lowered from 24 dollars 14 cents to two dollars 17. Uh, you can see other things that uh, freight driver revenue uh, per mile has been lowered from 16.17 to 41 cents. And yeah, just look at all the totals there. You can see where a lot of things have been adjusted. Like I said, I'm not going to read all through this. If if I, if it comes off the screen, uh, just go back, pause it, and you can read everything that this mod has to offer. Um, it is a great mod uh, from what I can see, so I, I can't wait to get it uh, get going here and get started. It's going to be a while before we can get our first truck. I think it was like three or four jobs on base game pricing where you can get enough money to go ahead and buy a truck. Uh, Maybe a while here, that's for darn sure. Uh, let me go ahead and pop up our mineral advisory. We still got that. don't need that. If I pop this up here... Um, does it show? Okay, you can see right there. Yeah, we're not going too far to begin with, but right here, this job income, we're going to earn 62 bucks. A wonderful 62 bucks. <laughs> so, yeah, we're just delivering something in town. Your first delivery is only like a mile or two. Like, how far is it here? It's actually four mile delivery that we got to go. So, uh, let me take that off there, and let's go ahead and jump into the truck. Now, the only thing that's going to be a problem till I get my, well, one of my trucks is yeah we're gonna be jumping into a lot of different vehicles because they're not ours they're owned by other other operators so the gearboxes are all different uh that's showing sixth gear that's showing third gear all right so i but it's not my usual I'm, and i don't want to change all my shifting gears okay so this is an 18 speed gearbox here so usually um on my single player multiplayer i got a 12 gearbox so I would have to change all my settings on my shifter to get every, everything good. And the problem is we're going to be shifting from truck to truck. So I'm going to have to readjust it for every truck. So yeah, it's going to be interesting. Uh, the first, <laughs> until we get a truck where I get uh, my regular gearbox in there. Um, Cindy's not over there because, well, it's not my truck. She'll be joining us uh, in the future. Uh, the one thing I probably should say, yeah, we our base is starting in Salt Lake City. The reason why I chose Salt Lake City... Uh, hang on, so let me put the put the parking brake on. Let me go to the map here. Um, the reason why I'm basically choosing Salt Lake City is... No, I don't want to cut that out. Uh, yeah, so basically on the SCS map, it's kind of centerized around the map area as it is. And of course, here's the Canada version and uh, coast to coast goes way over. The, yeah, yeah, we know that. Um, so yeah, we're pretty much going to be starting in Salt Lake City. And starting from there, now we do get a garage, a one slot garage, um, but like I said, we don't have a vehicle at all yet. All right, let's get back into our vehicle here. Let's fire her back up. And I got to impress some people here. So uh, yeah, I think I'm all set. See my mirrors. Yeah, it's going to feel awfully weird for a while here. 
I don't know if that's even the setting I want for the mirrors here. Where am I going out? Over here, apparently. It feels kind of weird just starting from scratch because I didn't pull into here, so I don't really know where the exit is, but I think we're going to be all set. So, yeah, the other thing we're not going to be doing, no teleporting. So, if there's no job in the city, I got a free roam to wherever it is I need to go. I hope I got all the settings I need correctly in the game. Yeah, I wish they would kind of like teleport, not teleport, but um, remember your settings from a previous profile and just start it off there. Now, I thought about doing this on the multiplayer server, but here's the issue. Running real economy on a multiplayer server. Yeah, with all the accidents that can happen there, my repair costs might go up quite a bit. So, yeah, we're going to keep this in single player, I think. I am going to try to keep these videos uh, maybe like an hour as long. Somewhere in there. Um, we do have sleep turned on, so that is going to be another thing I'm going to have to adjust to. I have not played with sleep on ATS in a long time. I'm used to just going, 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 going. Uh, because the reason why I turned sleep off years ago when I started playing Coast to Coast, uh, the Coast to Coast map, was there wasn't many rest areas. So, yeah, trying to find somewhere to sleep was kind of difficult. So I turned it off. And I kind of like playing with it off. That's just one less thing to to not to deal with. But since we're doing realistic economy and we're doing realistic trucking, I suppose we should just go ahead and try to keep everything realistic. So I have to do sleep and all of that. There is a mobile dealership right there. So I do have a profile set up. It took me a while to get the profile set up. Um, it took me a while to get the mod kind of... Yeah, for some reason the game... I think the realistic mod, I don't know... Yeah, when we cut, do a cutscene from... Uh, better watch my speed here. I don't want to be paying speeding tickets. I only got $1,500 to my name right now. So, yeah, I'm trying to figure out if I got the mods in the right order, but uh, we shall see here. So, I got skilled parking always on. Uh, I don't have the option to skip parking. I mean, I could turn it on. If I get into a real pickle, I guess I could turn it on and just say, yeah, you know what, I can't park this, you park it. Someone take the trailer for me and park it. So yeah, we have no workers, so nothing on the bottom of the screen is going to scroll saying, hey, this driver brought in this much, this driver brought in that much. It's just me. It is just me. And like we said, it's going to take a while before I can get any kind of income going before we can afford a vehicle. Now I think, like I said, I got all my settings kind of squared away. Um, the one thing I think I may have to go back in is the trailer and truck stability. Um, I'm not sure if I got those slide bars where I need them to be. So I have to check my other profiles to see roughly where I have those set. Like I said, it's been a long time since I restarted a profile, so getting everything squared away. It's going to take a, maybe take an episode or two. And I'm not going to really know until I start driving see how things feel. So like I said, we're going to try to keep it all real here. Realistic economy. Uh, yeah, no teleporting. Uh, ma better make sure I sleep. Whoa. Yes, I'm not used to an 18 gear gearbox. That, that's going to be the most difficult part. Until we get a truck, it's, it's going to be, you know, every truck we get in, like this is an 18 gear. Next truck may be a 6 gear. Uh, 13 gear. Yeah, who knows. And as you saw when we were on the map, yeah, I haven't been anywhere. I mean, really, literally have not been anywhere. We have zero of the map uh, discovered. You gonna let me over? Thank you, fella or lady. Oh, I just feel that the shifting is just all off for me. So, give me a little bit of a break on the shifting stuff until we can afford our own truck and hopefully get the right gearbox in. Uh, yeah, okay, um, I don't need all these, um, can I, can I escape you, please? No, I don't want, no. Okay, I don't remember all these things popping up before. Did I not approach? So, you're, you're gonna stay on there until I approach the entrance myself? I 
I thought I hit um, skip tutorial, so I don't know if this is part of the tutorial or not. Also got the uh, what is it called? A direct attack or whatever advanced hookup. So we got to be precise with our hookups. Uh, where am I going with? Oh, right there. Oh, my first delivery. You're gonna make you give me a blind side, you turds. I don't want to say it's a blind side, but... And the mirrors are never your best friend in this game. Uh, I didn't check. Was it on the other side of that truck, or... This is a short trailer, maybe? It's on the other side of that truck. Careful with the trailer. Okay, that's going to be too far over, I think. How about you turn your blinker off there? That that'd be helpful. I may be back in the same spot I just was. Hopefully we can peek out here and see what we're doing. Alright, you know what? That's not too bad. Perfect. Uh, park and brake. T to unhook. Good job. What are you waiting for? Unhook it? Yeah, we don't. And yeah, there's our 62 bucks XP 95. That is great, um, I suppose. Yeah, once again with these cutscenes, I I got the music volume turned down almost down to nothing, and it doesn't go on down. So I don't know if it's a mod causing it to stay up this high. So this is where I'm getting like double cutscenes in a way, where I get or loading screens. I get the Canadian uh, pro mods load up. Okay, so I only did it once. So there, yeah, this is our new headquarters. <laughs> yeah. What a wonderful looking garage, isn't it? Um, uh, it's pretty basic garage. It may not be one, much, but it's a start. Unfortunately, you haven't got anything to park there yet. So there are no trucks in sight. Uh, once you earn enough money, blah, 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 we'll be able to buy a truck. Good luck, so on and so forth. Yeah, this is not my truck. Yeah, we, we know how, I know how to do all this. Okay, all this is finally popping up. All right, uh, I did all the Christmas events. Uh, Cruising Colorado, I'm done with it as well. So the only thing we can really do, like I said, this is not my truck. Uh, we need to go in and go ahead and see what is on the job market. We can only take quick jobs because I don't have a vehicle. So this is where it comes in. Yeah, this is where real estate economy comes in. Yeah, look at these prices. 78 cents a mile, $237 worth. Um, do I want to do price per distance or maybe price down? I think we'll start with price down. We'll take the jobs that pay off the most. So we're going to be hopping in a whole bunch of different kind of vehicles here. Um, Peterbilt, 389, low roof sleeper, 13 speed. Yeah, let's go ahead and take job. Because it pays the most. So yeah, it's going to take a while. Like I said, this is not going to be something after the second episode. I have like one of the best trucks going. And the first, like first... I don't know, like six or seven episodes. Like I said, we're going to be like an hour long in there is about. Um, but we're going to be doing a lot of deliveries because I can't travel too far because I don't have the skills to. Although this is 228 miles, so... All right, that's not too bad. I probably should go in here and turn on all these. I don't think I, this truck even has that. Dashboard lights can go on down. Yeah, every time I get into a truck, it's going to be completely different. All right, let me center up my, uh, okay, so we got first, fourth, uh, this was a 13 speed. All right, so 13. All right, uh, what's the weight of the cargo that we got? Uh, it doesn't weigh that much. All right. All right, what's my cargo looking like here? 
What do we got here? Oh, one of these kind of trailers. All right. It's kind of fun. I'm actually going to get some mail once in a while. Oh, wow. She does sound... I haven't driven a... I don't think I've driven one of these kind of trucks in a long time. I, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm used to driving this to Volvo, right? Um, actually, let's go up this way, I think. That's kind of an interesting dump truck with a purple, uh, sorry, pink. Oh, there's no one with a pink. Actually, there's a few of them with pink. Oops, I kind of um, went by where I need to be going. Too busy looking at all the dump trucks with the pink uh, dumpers on the back of them. So also, I'm going to get a lot of pops up. I don't know if you can, I don't know if the recorder will pick it up or not, but uh, yeah, I'm getting a lot of achievements already here. Uh, I haven't done much in the Utah area since the DLC came out. So I need to be careful with, with all my speedings and all that kind of stuff because that's going to cause fines and that is something I cannot afford. So I'll have to check our mail after this delivery. I know it was coming around that corner because I cut it kind of short here. Oh, I'm leaving a quarry. Okay, I'm like, it seems kind of weird with all these sharp corners. All right. Like I said, not really knowing driving into where you're picking up your, uh, your cargo. You're not really sure what the heck you're doing. I didn't really read what I was delivering. I was just like, you know what, that pays 200 and some odd dollars. I'll take that, thank you. Let's go in here and check on out. Gonna let me leave with your cargo, huh? All right, we take kind of a rolling, a roll through. Tap my steering wheel to double shift, and yeah, it's not working on this gearbox either. What's the speed limit? 50? Is it on? I don't know if it's on or not. There, I think cruise is working, so that button does work. So yeah, if you're new to ATS with me anyways, I do have a G27 steering wheel with a shifter. Um, I have track IR, so if I move my head, um, it will flicker around as well. Shouldn't be doing it too much here. We have horns on these things. Apparently. I did just go to the workshop and found a mod that says, I think it's unrestricted air horns or something like that, but until we can buy a truck, it doesn't really matter. So realistic economy, have any of you been playing with this or thought about playing with it or don't want to grind through a long, I don't know how long it's going to be, like I said before, we can afford, you know, get a loan to buy a truck. But the fun part is, yeah, earning the money to get there. And at first, yeah, being able to drive all different kinds of trucks. 
So I mean, yeah, the first job you do is the one you put in your profile, like, I prefer this truck here. So the first job you get will be driving in that truck there, and then after that you start selecting jobs that what you want. And that's why we're driving to Peter. And it's amazing going from one truck to another how different it feels. So I'm so used to driving the Volvo truck and listening to the RPMs and all that and just like, okay. Yeah, this truck here definitely sounds much different. So like I said, starting in Salt Lake City. And I kind of forget how far I can drive. With no skill points, I don't remember how far it is I can drive. I think our first few skill points will put into going longer distances. And I also have to really think about, you know, in, in other profiles I've driven. Yeah, before it's like fuel economy, who cares? You make so much money, it doesn't matter. But now fuel economy will matter a little bit. But at first, since I don't own any of these trucks, uh, hello there, copper. Thanks for giving the trucker a little bit of room. But until I own a truck, paying, I don't have to pay any fuel costs at all. So like I said, the first couple of levels we get put into distance. Wow, I forgot what all the other uh, different kind of cargo and also getting being paid more for delivering kind of different kind of different kind of cargo. So being able to drive tankers, um, I know what the symbols are, but I'm drawing a blank what they're called because it's been so long since I, I really cared what they were. <laughs> uh, like there's like fragile cargo that you can you can haul around. while before I'd be interested to see once we start getting really going on this profile to see what we're actually getting paid for doing like long deliveries you now I'm so used to you know on, on with the coast to coast map in Canada I wouldn't be surprised there were a couple jobs if I were not running realistic economy where I could get paid like 200 grand for a delivery so say if I were to go from like Tampa Florida up into Canada that'd be like huge But now taking delivery like that, I'd probably get paid like 20 grand, which is still not bad. Because from the totals that I was showing earlier for the realistic economy, it looks like I'm getting paid like 10% of what the base game uh, allowed, well, would pay us. It seems like that's roughly the general area. Let me go ahead and put the cruise control on here. I don't want to get a speeding ticket. I think the speeding ticket prices were reduced as well. I mean, could you imagine me getting speeding tickets like twice on this trip? Getting a base speeding ticket would kill me. Because I only got 1500 I think a speeding ticket is what, six or 900 or something like that? Yeah, 
uh, getting used to all these shifters in the next couple of trucks is going to be a little bit painful. One for me to get used to each truck as we drive it. And two for you watching. That's going to be painful. I thought I saw a road sign where it said these two lanes merge into one. And it's actually right here. Hey, really? You want me to pull into a way station? That's kind of cruel. Uh, no, that's a do not enter there, Peanut, so... Nope, wrong gear. And I can't afford going through these. miles an hour on scale? Yeah, we're fine. Alright, let's roll on. It's only 30 miles an hour through here? Oh yes, these gearboxes are going to frustrate the heck out of me. I don't even remember, I mean, what a max loan is I could take out. The sooner you can buy your own truck, the better. Now, the situation being is, I'm at level zero, which means a lot of the options on the trucks aren't available for me to buy. So it'll be like the cheapest truck I could possibly buy with like no horsepower in them whatsoever. But definitely I'll make more driving for myself than driving for others. And as we level up, then we'll slowly be able to upgrade our truck. And I don't really have a game plan as to how I'm going to build up my company. I think i got to get myself a decent truck first. Yeah, we'll buy, I mean, obviously buy ourselves a truck. So we can make our own deliveries. I like get paid a little bit more that way. Let's be living style 60, all right? And then, because um, I, I, first of all, I can only I only got a spot for one truck, so I'd have to upgrade my garage to a three uh, three truck garage, and then I'd have to buy whoever a truck to drive. So I mean, we're talking at least a couple hundred grand. Actually, it's going to be more than a couple hundred grand. Probably going to need like three or four hundred thousand dollars before I can afford to be able to get another driver into the company. And that's after I buy myself a truck. So, yeah, we might be taking on a few loans. Is this an 18 or a 13 speed? I don't remember. Okay, it's a 13 speed. So I haven't even discovered a truck dealership yet. So don't think I'll be able to even get a rough idea what a cheap truck even cost. I'm going to say like 125000 is probably for a decent cheap truck. If that makes any sense. For 
while, we're just going to be cruising through Utah because I don't have the experience to take jobs longer than... I was actually shocked that I was able to drive, I think this trip was 250 some odd miles. See, my other trucks, when I hit 40 miles an hour, I'd be like, okay, I know what gear I need to be in. And we're all set. This one here, it's like, eh, I'll take a guess at it. I did notice when I hopped in this truck, there wasn't much fuel in it, but I think it's more than enough to get me to where I need to be. Like I said, with this, the deal with the shifting, yeah, I'm set up for an H shifter, and that button does not quite work, so I'm skipping a lot of gears because I don't know what button is mapped for this kind of shifting. <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. Where am I going with this? Uh, Fernal? Fernal. And it's only, like I said, just over 8,000 pounds. I don't want to be looking at scenery too much because I want to get people motion sickness, so... I just stay focused on what's in front of me for the most part. But I mean, if we get back to, the, if after this delivery, if the bank says we'll give you $150,000 on a loan, I'd be like, oh, yeah, that sounds great. Now the thing is, wow, it's going to take me forever to pay back that loan for what we're delivering. Especially that way they got a sleep bar down there. Is there a quick way... Next rest. Okay, that, okay. So I can drive another nine, almost said nine minutes, nine hours in game hours. Had it been a long time since I had a look at something like that. Now what I might actually do, even though, for those of you who have been watching my ATS videos, which I haven't done a lot much in the past nine months or so, uh, but for those of you who did watch previously, yeah, I do like driving the Volvos. But what we may do here, my first truck, I may not go with a Volvo, I may just try a different vehicle, but as long as I can get a 12-speed transmission in it, that'd be great. And then what we can do is, when we start hiring workers, I'll buy a different vehicle for myself, and they can take the vehicle I was driving, and we can start switching now and then. It's funny, the sign says Vernil, or Vernal, is straight ahead, but yeah, I'm turning. I might be going to another quarry. Where am I going with it? Gallon Oil. Yeah, Cindy will be coming along with us once we get our own truck. Should be doing our log books and all that good stuff. Alright, so 55 is the speed limit here. The main thing is when you're a trucker is to make sure you get your your cargo there safely. It doesn't matter. Oh crap. 
Oh, good. There's another. <laughs> was not paying attention. Did not know it was turning that quick. My guess is it's not the way that we're supposed to come in here. Unless I was coming in from the other direction. I think there's a setting in there for the blinkers I need to turn on. And man, I got the rain setting so low, but yet it rains and rains and rains. I mean, I don't want to set it too low to where we never get rain, but this is, this is going to be a little bit... When I was doing the Christmas deliveries, it seemed like it was raining so much. Um, I'm trying to take a peek where my parking is. I mean, I see the flag, but I don't see... Alright. Don't know if you saw it or not, but I did. Ooh, cannot really see too well. Wow, my trailer is not even close to being where it needs to be. Alright. Oh, that's right. Wrong truck, you can't start in that gear, Peanut. Are you crazy? Probably should approach this from a different angle, but here I am. Is that enough to get around that? cargo that was there. I think so. Nope, nope. Gotta start in this gear. I think I'm going over the curb there, but we're alright. Should be roughly like right here. Nope. Couldn't see the back end. Oh, no, wrong gear. That's going to get me a lot, I'm telling you right now. I think I got to do this one more time here. Oh, that back end is just killing me because I can't see it. Oh, you know what? It's calling for it. It's good enough. Parking brake on. Engine off. The decouple. Alrighty. Give me my $237. Thank you very much. Ah, we got a level. We're now considered a newbie. Um, rank 1 deliveries up to 400 miles. 0% uh, higher reward for delivery distance longer than 250. 25% experience bonus for delivery distances longer than 250. That's what we want to start with. Uh, high value cargo. I was thinking of that. Fragile. Just in time. Important deliveries unlocked. High reward for finishing important. Oh, yeah, okay. I remember what that is. And fuel economy. We'll have to worry about that later. I'm thinking we're going to at least get to level 3 in long distance before anything else. Uh, make sure I apply that. Long distance driving, there we go. Uh, actually, got two pieces of mail. Uh, brand new Volvo trucks for sale. Thank you very much, dear sir, madam. Yeah, we got a showroom for me in Salt Lake City. Uh, can we help? Uh, we thought you might know that we offer uh, loans to new businesses. Do you need funding to get your business running? We are here to help. All right, local bank. forgot how to do that. Oh, bank down here. All right. Uh, so you can borrow 10,000. That does me swat. 
why would I just throw a 10,000? Now, I think with this mod, though, I think I might be able to visit truck dealers by online without having to go there. You don't have to get to certain levels. Um, this is the only dealership that we know of. But just for curiosity... Okay, so we, we, let's go ahead and customize what we can customize. Okay, so you can't do nothing there. Can't do nothing there. Um, yeah, we just... 10 speed... Yeah, we'll just call it right, like right there. So it's like $120,000 what I need before I can buy a truck. And that's a basic, basic truck. Obviously, we'll get more levels before we get there. But as we now know, um, the bank is only going to let me allow me to borrow ten grand, which is, yeah, nothing. Absolutely nothing. All right. Um, how are we doing here? We're about 40 minutes in. So we got time for another delivery. So, Salt Lake City to Elko, Nevada. This will be in a International Lone Star, 18 speed. Kenworth, uh, we'll just take uh, the International. Let's go ahead with the International. Um, there's some rail port. Offer expires in 12 minutes. I better take it. All right. So, the bank will give me a $10,000 loan, which is kind of laughable. I don't know what to do with $10,000. But since I'm only level one, I get it. <laughs> oh, man. All right. So, let's go ahead and fire up the cab. Uh, it is raining out, so I probably have to make sure my parking lights are on and my beams are on. If I got these, we'll go ahead and do that. I don't like my dash lights on too bright, please. Right, that's my parking brake. So where are the gears? Uh, 1, 4, 7, 10, 13, 18. Reverse should be here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just checking the button to see if I got the, sh uh, the shifter for this uh, to shift gears. Fourth gear, no. So my button that usually shifts on an eight shifter will not. All right. Uh, let me put the parking brake back on. Put that in the neutral for a second. Let's go ahead and turn that off. Take a look at the beautiful truck that we're driving today. Oh, does my sleep... Is, am I resetting my sleep every time I take a new job? I am. That is interesting. That is very interesting. Actually, let's pull this on out here. Because I need to take a screenshot. Oh, I don't want that. Well, she'll start in fourth gear. Oh, now i got to get used to this engine sound. Feels like I'm... Am I delivering from, like, the same quarry? I think I am. Let's get out of here. Let's not miss my turn this time. If you can hear that vibration sound, that is... My G27 steering wheel with the feedback. This one does sound quite different. All right, I just want to pull out of here and try to get a decent screenshot, which you've probably already seen. So we'll go ahead and put that neutral. Park that. Let's turn that off here. Sure, why not? I mean... There we go. Doesn't have to be anything too fancy. Alright, get my minimal minimal advisory back up so I know where the heck I'm going. Let's see. I think, I, like I said, this thing... Oh, park and brake. Wow. 
wide turns. Yeah, this engine, engine sounds, man. And the revs are going to get me until we get something basic. I don't want to say basic, but... Take up both parts of the road. I don't expect any traffic to be coming down here now that now that I know I'm in a quarry again. And there better not be a cop nearby to give me a speeding ticket. So I just have to remember that we started with just fifteen hundred dollars to our name, but we are given a garage. So after two deliveries, I just well we can call it eighteen hundred, I suppose. Looks like the rain may have stopped. Give me the green light. Thank you. Now last time we turned right, and this time we gotta go left. This engine is, can I say, rather quiet? So, no sense really looking at the bank loan for a while. I guess not until I hit level 5. So, let's not even bother looking at it until I hit level 5. I don't know, is it like a $10,000 loan for every skill level? If that's the case, I need to be like skill level, we'll just say 12. Because I'll be 120,000. And by then I should have a couple grand from deliveries. Like I said, uh, getting more experience from doing longer distances is good. So the first couple skill points definitely do longer distances. Boy, I'm so paranoid about a speeding ticket now. <laughs> it's, it's kind of funny. I don't want to see... That's one thing I always got me in ATS, how the speed limits change. ETS as well. I remember ETS was the same way. Um, let's slow down a little bit more here. So this is a 200 mile journey here. popular neutral uh, stoplight. Just get a look around here. Why not take another screenshot? Because who knows what the heck I'm gonna I'm gonna do for a screenshot. Now let's take a couple and get y'all confused. Well, what the heck am I talking about? You already know what it's gonna be because you saw it when he clicked on the video. It's not like you're watching the video and going, yeah, what screenshot did he choose? I guess I'm the idiot. Like always. Let's not let's not cause any accidents either because Peanut cannot afford to. Looks like I gotta take a left-hand turn, so I need to be getting I need to be getting that lane. Hopefully that bus is turning. Nope, looks like it's me and him on a drag, but I got the upper hand. So he's gonna let me in. I was speeding and that cop did not see me. Must be the range. I think that's another thing I saw in the realistic economy that the range the cops detect you is different and all that. The main point is, yeah, try to avoid violations is what I need to be doing. Yeah, so I'm getting paid, what am I getting paid on this one? 240 bucks. Awesome. No, I need, uh, uh, there we go. Uh, there's a green light there. Everyone behind me was probably complaining. Yeah, I, 
think there's an option in game options where the blinker should automatically turn off. And I think I gotta activate that so I can take a corner. The blinker should go off like it normally does. Why would you want that to automatic uh, to always stay on? I don't know. So that's kind of good that in this mod they kind of made it to where you don't have to go to the dealership to buy your first couple of trucks. It used to be until you got to a certain level you had to go to the dealership to buy a truck. At least that's what I remember. Traffic looking, looking barren, really. But in a minute or two, it's going to be jam-packed, I'm sure. Are we on the I-80 right now? Hard to tell. Oh, that's right, I'm not running... I'm so used to only being able to do a 65, but that was because I was doing external contracts for Christmas deliveries. So now, yeah, right now I could do 80 if I wanted to, or whatever the truck allows me to do. So I'm just going to set the cruise control for what we're doing. Yeah, I think 80 miles an hour, I think almost for certain we must be on the I-80. Westbound. I remember the early days of ATS, well, I mean the early days to when it was only Nevada and California. Uh, my first garage was in Las Vegas. I thought that would be great. Yeah, why would I want to start in Las Vegas? And then after a lot of deliveries, uh, I know they revamped uh, Las Vegas, I don't want to say quite a bit, because I don't know exactly how much they actually did, but in the early days, driving through Vegas sucked. And I got tired of that one pretty darn quick. Well, you know, it was a new game, so not that quick. But after a while, it's like, I, I gotta change my headquarters. I cannot be in Vegas all the time. Anytime there was an update to the game, it's like, yep, yep, we directed you back to your garage. We detected the game change. Yep, going back to your garage. Detected the game change. Yeah, so every time I was going back to Vegas, I'm like, doing 30 miles an hour through Vegas was not fun. So I, then I think I moved my garage to Sacramento. And then Coast to Coast came out and then eventually I moved it to like the East Coast somewhere. Do I have more mail? I got more mail, huh? Apparently. Don't know what the mail would be about. Hey, you don't have to stop at a way station. Can you poor souls stopping in? Apparently not. Ah, it's the sun sets. So used to my Volvo truck when I hit cruise control, I'm so used to seeing where it comes up. And I did not get my screen. I think I got to get my keyboard, which is on the other side. That's why, uh, let's see, is that what I want there? No, it's my miles, that's miles per hour your eye on the GPS as well because you don't want to be going past an off ramp that you need to be going. Alright, I think I'll just keep it there I suppose.
don't really see where it's telling me my cruise control on, but it is on. And I want to get back over in that lane. I think I'm coming up pretty fast in this truck, so I may just stay right here. Traffic behind me can just suck it for a few minutes. max speed on this truck is probably 70, 73, so even going downhill there a little bit, the, the truck did not want to go any faster. Passing these vehicles is great when you got the momentum going for you. The thing that usually sucks for me is I usually get 12 cents like, oh crap, I need the off ramp here, or... I get the warning of like, hey, you need to stop at the way station, and I can't get my way back into the right lane. Well, there's a lot of truckers on the road. Alright, so speed limit is 70. I'm doing 72. That is still fine. I won't get a ticket for that. Now, base game-wise, it's usually 10% of the speed limit that you can go over, and you're fine. So being the speed limit is 70, I can almost, I can do 75 and get away with it. I did not see if he changed that at all in the mod. I wouldn't think so. Alright, resume my cruise control. may even be worth it for me before we upgrade our garage and hire buy another truck and hire a driver to actually buy after we buy a truck of course is to buy a trailer and start transporting our own cargo as well I will get paid more but by just having a, a particular trailer I'm only going to be able to take particular cargo just trying to think many episodes in advance <laughs> because I don't even have a truck yet. I, d I don't even have $2,000 to my name. Oh, the bank will give me a lovely $10,000 loan. But we'll get there. The whole point is to do realistic economy. Not do like three deliveries and be able to forge your own truck. Well, all, uh, in all honesty, if the base game wise, it wasn't three deliveries and you had $120,000 to your name. It was you had enough to take out a loan to do so. Okay, I think I need to be in that gear. Is that going to work? Yeah, that, that gear works. Did a lot of over revving there coming on in, but... Fifteen miles an hour. I don't need a cop going by to give me a ticket. I don't want to see how much... The only thing that kind of sucks about it is like the speed limit inside the way station is 15. And just before you get to where you got to go onto the interstate, their speed limit's like, well, it's 80. So, I mean, just to pull out in front of traffic, you better make sure no cars are coming. Or, like some of us probably do, you just nose your way out there and the traffic kind of stops. Oh, I was getting ready to pass this truck. But since we only got five miles to go to our destination... I'm pretty sure our off-ramp is coming up. I 
Okay, this looks a little bit different to me. I'm interested to see what this mail is because I don't know what else the mail... We got the notification about the dealership. We got the bank telling us like, hey, uh, do you need a loan? Uh, yes, I do. But $10,000, come on. Yeah, I got to find that option for the blinker because that should be turning off. I have to turn the blinker off every time myself. Delivery is on the right-hand side of this road, so I'm in the correct lane I need to be in. Yeah, so the for a while, like I said, the the, the gears, the gear boxes. Yeah, it's going to take a little bit of learning too, and also sleeping. But it looks like every time I take a new job, my sleep meter is reset. So, probably won't have to worry about that until I get my own truck. Do I have any beacons on this truck? No, I don't. Uh, looks like I'm actually going in here. Where am I going with it? Oh, okay, I see it. It's not the most difficult parking, but... I think the most difficult parking for here is actually having to back it into that little spot right there. Hmm. Just trying to figure out my approach here. Uh, a little bit of rubbing on the front fender. It's fine. It's all good. Alright. I mean, this is a little bit tricky, but it's not that bad. Just because I can't get the back of the trailer around the way I like to. Okay, I think what I need to do is just back it up all the way now and get myself more lined up to the parking that I need to be. I hate having to use that side mirror over there because it's not always the best. Oh, wow. Yeah, way oversteered there. This is probably killing some of you. Alright. Alright, park and break. Turn the engine off because I'm not taking the truck with. So three deliveries. All done. Oh, I didn't quite get to level two. All right, that's fine. Uh, let's go see what the email is about here. Drivers with own equipment needed. Uh, yep, uh, we're looking for skilled drivers with their own trucks for a large number of deliveries. Yeah, it's going to be a while. It is going to be a while. Let me just go in because I'm curious. Now they got more experience. Nope. So, yeah. Basically, a $150,000 load. 
The loan payment a day is 676, which is not that bad, actually. So once I can get this, which I don't know when that will be, it'll be a while, but yeah, the deliveries we're making, we're making like 300. But as long as I keep getting more skill points, uh, skills right here. Yeah, so this is what we're getting. Right now we're just getting experience bonus for delivery distances longer than 250. Um, but by the time we get up to level three, higher reward for delivery distances. So that'd be kind of good. And then once we start getting the hazardous cargo or high value cargo, it will allow us to do a little bit more, but it's going to be a while. Um, actually, I can't even exit out and drive because I have nothing to drive. Yeah, I know. I don't have a vehicle to drive. So basically, we're gonna, you know, be sitting in here. So this is our company logo. I always go with the Eagle. Um, I may actually try to upload my own company logo and get it on there. Uh, our company's called um, Nut, and uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll, I'll explain what that uh, says later on. So I, I, I'm kind of hoping to maybe make my own logo for the trucks that we drive. Um, but yeah, as we said, it's going to be a while. Hey, my rating is a 0.8. I am awesome, and we got the experience. But uh, yeah, a realistic economy. It's going to be a while. It's going to be a while before we get a truck and expand our garage. But that is uh, going to do it for today, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching, as always. And I hope to catch you again here in Realistic Economy American Truck Simulator style again. But until then, have a good one.